We have returned. Your microphone, your audio is not broken. There is just no game audio playing right now. Honestly, it's kind of creepy. Anyway, hello everyone. My name is Pizza Madoi. I am a forensic scientist from the world of mysteries. We are here with the next episode of Even If Tempest, Dawning Connections, but you all probably knew that already. We are committed to going through this fan disc in the same order we went through the base game, because this is not a democracy, and I am the one holding the controller, which means we're going to your route next. Let's go. Gotta intersect all of those their threads. Gotta fix some stitches. Okay, we're one text box into this room. Tyrell's already insulting me. Chat, I don't know if I can handle this today. I got bows! Yeah, remember that time Tyrell died? I was kind of fucked up. That's not easy. See, he's insulting us, but he's smiling while he does it, so it's affectionate. I can relate, I talk like that all the time. And then they get the... <laughs> Mm. Oh, really giving me a lot to work with out at the starting gate, aren't ya? <laughs> I got my intestines. I surrender. Man's like twice your size, you can't go try and overpower people like he does. Just elementary school level physics. Alright, this is the bit where they just state the entire moral of the route up front. Everybody pay attention. Thank you. I'll do my best. I mean, the man has, like, no muscles. He looks like a skeleton with cloth drape over it. It's weird. I also want to get my ass kicked and told I'm going to die someday. By someday we mean like four weeks ago. Phew, what a day. A lot happened. I, I was stabbed several times. Two of them by you. The one detective in the entire kingdom. If I just kill him, I'll finally get a chance to get him to take a nap. Yeah, that's... How did you say all that without biting your tongue? It's 
torture equipment. And I can't say for sure since I've never been to his home. Torture is an inquisitor's only job. Torture is a sometimes food, like cookies. Sometimes a case can be solved with simple questioning alone. And it's not as if Master Tyrael is always in charge of the torture. He also does plenty of investigating. If he took all reports at face value and immediately jumped to torture, he would falsely accuse far too many people. And that's a thing that actually bothers the police, don't you know? Landon, that was being, being, being sarcastic. Get, get your head screwed on straight. あなたが詳しすぎるような。ガルダ翼騎士団以外には全くと言っていいほど興味関心を持たないのに、なんで異端審問会のことだけ。now you see, Mitchell, I can read minds. Gasp. I only offered that explanation because I didn't want Master Tyrael or the Order to be misunderstood. Now I have to deal with Mitchell and Landon's inquisitive stares. Moral of the story, children, never have friends. In fairness, I also cannot tell the difference between a cafe au lait and a cafe latte. Look, if it's got enough caffeine to keep me going for the next hour or so, I don't give a shit what's in it. Shut up, nerd. Oh, crap. The answer is, of course, because I have acted as an Inquisitor before. But this isn't an answer I can actually give them. Because I got interested? That won't work, they'd ask where it came from so suddenly. As I was suspected of witchcraft, now that it's another source of worry. I was made painfully aware of how bad I am at lying during my fatal rewinds. Yeah, no kidding. Any member of the Ace Attorney playable roster could have sold everything I was trying to do back there, that's all I'm saying. And that awareness makes things awkward during even these small misdirections. Never interrupt your enemy was making a mistake. Eh? Yes, that's definitely. I mean, wait, what? No. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I could have gone with that answer. If I wanted to be boring. I've had little experience in the realm of love, but even I know that knowledge of your partner's profession is only expected. It also wouldn't even be a lie. Stop looking at me like that. I feel my face heat up. It's not a lie, so I'm free to say it. But when I actually try to form the words... My god, it's Team Rocket! No, it's just TRL. Well... Master Tyrael inserts himself between me and the other two as Hugo watches on from behind. Oh god, you're gonna draw blood! So much blood! Getting mixed messages here, game. Oh, 
さすが団長のご友人だよえそうなの He's very good at stabbing people, what can I say? Master Tyrell and Grand Commander Cries have been friends for some time. Take care not to be rude to him. Don't be rude to people unless they interfere with your plans to use Pokemon for evils. Uh. No, but that, 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 that's not. Yes. When was the last time he called me Miss Red? Nostalgia and discomfort make it difficult to respond to his request immediately. Master Tira leaves without me and I'm forced to chase him down. Unfortunately, Landon's whisper that a guy probably wouldn't call his girlfriend Miss Red doesn't escape my ears. More. Drama. Two weeks have passed since I confessed to Master Tyrell. I have returned to my position in the wings in the meantime, and am allowed to look after Huma even as a cadet. Though Master Tyrell has turned in a letter of resignation to the Inquisitorial Order, the Church has instead given him special leave to try to keep him in their ranks. There are still a few questions that need resolved. Sure, okay, but I finally feel as though I can live in peace. I haven't even had to smell blood these last two weeks. Which is very surprising considering the amount of time I spent around that whip crazed lunatic. Not, not even a, a, hey, Cryus, it's good to see you again, or how's the wife and kids? I know he doesn't have any wife and kids, that's the principle of the matter. Master Tyrael smirks while Grand Commander Cryus sighs. I've seen this performance of theirs multiple times during my Fatal Rewind. No warning? Did you not request his presence here today? Okay, good point. Train the cadets. Tyrael, you are such a pain in the hiney. But that's what's charming about him, allegedly. So, why are you here then? Truly, the plight of the unemployed is a terrible thing. God, that's absolutely diabolical. Yes, Dad. Hmm. I always enjoy listening to their snappy back and forths, but I balk at the idea of being a fly on the wall for too long. This conversation doesn't involve me, after all. As I'm wondering how best to make my exit, Master Tyrael easily sees through me. Probably because of the multiple holes in my torso. Well, wait. 
カジノに行くとかいうバレバレの嘘をついて姿をくらましたバカの言葉コンシステンシーやえりあおゆたきまぜんいどころがわかったのかあとエヴァバリジェスノーズデッセンイズデビゲステリアンスローム It's clearly untrue because we are present, but you know. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. Wait! Do you intend to bring Zen back? Yeah. I mean, when you put it like that. Th that's not it. I just. I don't know what to say. Well, my chest constricts painfully when I think of Zen. I still blame myself for being unable to send him back to his own world. My powers were inferior to Norna's, so I couldn't free Zen from his immortality. Only I were stronger. Oh, why must everything that happens in this world be my fault? As this dark fog threatens to engulf my heart, Master Tyrell smacks me in the head. Ow! Rude. Have a moment here. Game already did that joke in a prior episode, so it's not very clever. I'm sorry. Oh. Anastasia, you have a lot of things to think about, but I am grateful for you. I will be able to get you to this world. I am not a person who is 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 a person. I might be superficially charming and good at talking to people, but let's not forget, I am completely empty inside.俺ほどじゃねえって前を聞いるかいらねえよな。あの、人吉のことだ。俺らに気を使って姿を消したんだろうが、言ってやりたいね。この腹黒と二人で飲めるかって。いや、they Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> I should have expected this argument from them. If Zen were here, he'd shake his head, but... His response would clearly demonstrate he wasn't too upset either. You really think so? I mean, it's probably not going to be the focus of this route, but... まあ、そうだな。ゼンが元の世界に戻れたとして、100年経っていれば、それはほとんど別世界だろう。ここで共に年を重ねて、人としての生を全うできることが、俺たちにとっての理想だ。あいつがそれを望むかは知らねえけど
っと捕まえるまでまだ時間はかかるその覚悟は先まで取っとけ人任せにしてるからだろうお前が行けばすぐじゃないか Well, yes, but then he wouldn't be available for his own road cries. Keep up. He's not wrong. It would likely be very easy for Master Tyrael to find him. Not even Zen could hope to run away from someone like him. But Master Tyrael doesn't answer the question immediately. Instead, he glances at me. And then. He hooks his arm around my neck and pulls me close. Oh god, no, I need that to breathe! Okay. What? He looks so disappointed at both of us. Not that I don't agree. Okay. <laughs> what a bitch. I do not like this, TRL. Its smug aura mocks me. Now I'm planning to head straight there. Wait, hold on. It won't take me that long to get my things together, so we can go together. <laughs> A smile, faint as candlelight, graces his features. He gently pats my head before quietly leaving me behind. I I'm not sure if... Gentle is really the uh, expression I would use to describe that face. I'd maybe go with something more along the lines of creepy or serial killer esque. Yes, yes, get it off screen. I don't want to look at it anymore. Central Square. So long as the lights remain bright, Historica's busiest district will always be full of people. I hear trivial discussions about dinner and souvenirs all around me. I'd never paid any mind to the conversations of others before, but they've taken on a new meaning now. They're proof that my life is peaceful. My heart can relax. You're definitely not about to be invaded by a group of foreign invaders. They're a far cry better than screams of anguish and tears of agony. That's not a good lesson to take away from whatever you're talking about, lady. That's definitely not the lesson you should be taking from that. That date. Now that I think on it, Master Tear and I have only ever really gone out together to investigate for the carnival. As much as this date reeks of blood, it's very appropriate. As I follow the flow of the crowd, my attention is drawn to a faraway corner and the alleyway behind it. The Inquisitorial Order lies beyond that road. The Fatal Rewind. It was akin to climbing an endless spiral staircase of grief and anger, only to be tossed back to the bottom upon reaching the exit. Osha is going to be very upset they didn't install any safety railings there. The time I spent with Master Tyrael in the middle of this dark and winding fate glowed with an indescribable intensity. There are many reasons for me to be attracted to Master Tyrael. He's got dark hair, he's very pale, he's skinny, he owns a whip. 
But the opposite isn't true. I know this is how it would be from the start. Our relationship is built upon my declaration to him that I would work hard to make him fall in love with me. He doesn't hate me, I can feel kindness in his actions. But he hasn't hugged or kissed me once since that day. Am I not working hard enough? Okay, Anastasia, ask yourself one question. Under what circumstances since the day you were born have you not been asking yourself that? Well... You know, we haven't established what it was on that bookshelf. I would like to know. I'm very curious what Anastasia and or Maya's taste in literature is. Honestly, I'm still not entirely convinced that Anastasia can read. Irregular pulse, headaches, dizziness. If these aren't treated within an hour, heart failure will result in death. Uh, Rignopra these nuts. Everything. Even the water a cut flower sits in is dangerous. Yes. Yes. God, you're so such a contrarian, Maya. Flames of anger burn brightly in Maya's eyes. I had to work hard to make him fall in love with me. Men like women who know how to kill them, right? Okay. I... Sh sh sure. Sure, that's that that's an acceptable gag. That's not funnier than what I said. These two always so good together. You know, how you go around poisoning people in self-defense. Happens every day. You know, as opposed to all those other men of the church who are pure bastions of moral flawlessness. Wow, rude. I've watched this back and forth continue for two weeks. My bountiful vocabulary means the insults change each time, but the content is roughly the same. Two weeks. In other words, this has continued for as long as Master Tyrell and I have been together. See, we established that now. So long as neither of us has any other plans, Master Tira will arrive at my home once I'm finished with work for the day. He also comes on days off. What we do also doesn't change much. He gives concise instruction about pharmacology, espionage, and even international affairs in his beautiful voice. I'm... Happy enough just being with Master Tyrell, but I'm not sure I could confidently call this a meeting of lovers. Hey, I I'm not gonna tell you what your relationship should and shouldn't look like. That was blind. Blind, deaf, and thoroughly stupid. <laughs> Yes, I know. I was there at the time. I'm not just an extension of you, Mom. 
<laughs> There's probably no better word to describe me. I'm impressed at Mai's observational skills after all our time together, but I need to do something about the oncoming tears. Maya? Stop crying. If knowledge and experience can change a person, then you're the one that has affected me the most. You're always with me, after all. So you needn't worry. Okay. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. You're going to the markets tomorrow to help out, right? You should rest for tonight. Hi. I like Maya. I apologize. I'm sure Maya doesn't mean any harm. <laughs> to me, Maya is like an older sister. Or a mother. I'm sure she feels similarly about me, so it's no wonder she's so prone to worrying. Hmm. But it might be a good idea to stop these lectures in her presence. Especially as they always result in these arguments. Ah, so. Master Tyrael turns his head away from me. I have clearly upset him somehow, so I hurry to continue. I'm grateful, though. I can't be as careless as I have been now that I don't have access to the Fatal Rewind, so I'm sure this knowledge will directly lead to my own safety. But maybe there is a time and a place for these things. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but I'm sure it exists. Can I look at him? And he refuses to look at me. How else was I to go and meet you without that excuse? Uh, are you using these lectures as a pretense to see me? Was the training session today for the same reason? My god, she's finally getting it. My god, he's going to blow! Master Tyrell is a talented speaker. He's almost never struck silent like this. But his crimson cheeks give me my answer. <laughs> Once again, you are the most relatable character in this game. I kinda suck, actually. I don't know why you're on my route. What I want, Master Tyrell, is you. No one else, except when I end this route and go on to do something else, then I will definitely want someone else. <laughs> ah, a genuine compliment! I mean it. The only one I... <laughs> Annie, you're going to kill the poor man. It's too early in the route, he's gotta be lying through his teeth right now. We have established that he does that very well. I suppose it wasn't very like him to say that, no. Master Tyrell is nothing if not confidence. His haughty smile remains firmly plastered on his features, whether he speaks to a new acquaintance or a witch. The more I learned about him, the more his excess self-confidence made sense. He is stronger, more talented, and more firm in his beliefs than anyone. 
So I never expected him to lower his head in shame while comparing himself to others. But he just did. Crazy, right? Is that actually true, though? Is he just someone with great faith in himself, or is there more to it? I mean, it's not like I know about some sort of insanely tragic backstory he has that would cause his self-worth to be incredibly caught up in something beyond his control. Thus require excessive overcompensation. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, the salt of the earth, Annie. I'm not well versed in manners of life. It was never part of the life I'd led to this point, but he is probably the same. Actually, he may even be worse off than me in this respect. I had my fellows at the wings. I had Maya. All he had was cries and zen, and I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I haven't worked nearly hard enough. Anastasia told herself for the fifth time today. I quickly closed the distance between us. So I can go in for my one-inch death punch. But why are you running away? Brave Satira will bravely run away. And Satira falls backwards onto the bed, and I quickly climb on top of him. Oh god, already? I'm moving at a breakneck pace tonight. I'm happy that you've taught me so much. It's useful and enjoyable besides. So... I need to put in more effort. And I want to better fit the role of your girlfriend. <laughs> Jesus, do y'all smell that? It's like a f billion fangirls all creamed in their panties at once, and were suddenly silenced. It is. I fix my gaze on him. The smooth slope of his incredibly skinny nose. Do not think too hard about how that works. You will go mad. His slender features, his deep set eyes. It combines to create a kind of beauty not often found in Historica. You truly are beautiful. Your features come to me, Sheik Clan. Faith reminded me of my dead parents, really romantic. His violet eyes, gorgeous as a flower in the rain, shake slightly. Never particularly thought of flowers in rain as being prettier than flowers outside of rain. Usually when a flower is in rain, it just means there's a risk it's going to get hit by a raindrop and bend over. Much like Anastasia is trying to do to him, actually. Though I doubt he intends for it to come across this way, even the slightest movement of his eyes is terribly alluring. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... He's being pushed over like this. Bluster you. Huh? Ah. Huh. You know? This is a lot of fun. This is not the direction I was anticipating this route going. Okay, I know what I want to do, and I know what we all want to do. But there is something to be said for respecting people's safe words. You know? I apologize.
And I was about to open a door that's better off remaining closed. But I realized that before it was too late. <sighs> Then why? Alright, you're gonna yell at me for uh being polite and respectful of others, aren't you? I think this is the first time I've seen you looking like this. Cute. Ah, so cute. So see, no, 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 Uh oh, I went too far. I immediately try to pull myself away from him, but I'm too late. He grabs me by my ties, apparently, which is apparently the term we're going for for what I'm wearing, and pulls me closer. Eek. Ah. Uh. Long fingers slide down my back and towards my hips. And then... <laughs> Stop it, stick <laughs> Master Tiro tickles me until my voice grows hoarse, just in case you didn't get that's what was happening. Uh, can this scene end already? Multiple enough enemies. Okay. So scary. Why are we dating this guy again? And then we got back on track. And why? This time it's Master Tyrell that stares straight at me. It's a searching gaze as if he's trying to turn over the stones in my heart. Uh, no, I in fact hate not having enough free time. Do you not understand? I think you of all people would understand that. Huh? Oh boy, are we projecting? Is that what's happening right now? You're always giving me tests every time we see each other. So I have to study every day. You also worked me to the bone today, so if anything, I feel like I don't have enough time in the day. That is not what I said. As am I. We glance at each other and share a laugh. So I know I'm not. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. At your residence. Yes, Anastasia, that's also what he just said. I'm not a specialist. I'm not a specialist. I'm not a specialist. As we know, game, we were there at the time. I heard he owns a torture rack from Spain and another torture rack from France. N no reason. No. You don't? What about Zen, the Grand Commander? Well, 
Okay, if we get home and he finds out he has a separate sex bed, sleeping bed, but then they make a big deal about him sleeping in the sl sexing in the sleeping bed, or it, I am leaving. I bet he'd let me in. Mr. Tyrell, do you think our relationship has improved? Huh? I mean, it was pretty bad. The, the first time we met, you literally murdered me. No, I suppose not, but I'm curious. I want to know if my hard work has paid off. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? God, you are being such a bitch. This is somehow worse than what I was prepared for. Master Tyrell spins on his heel and makes a beeline for the door. I expect him to immediately throw it open, but he stops with his hand on the doorknob. Oh boy, the one hero we've established can't cook. I won't. Bye. I love you. Going to Master Tiro's home tomorrow. I'm so happy I get to discover a new side to him that I can't help but smile. This is my happy face, can't you tell? I pull a magazine out of a drawer. The article within details a number of sightseeing spots and popular eateries in Historica, and I've only just finished reading it. I've marked every place that might catch Master Tyrael's attention. I hope we get to go together someday. The sun rises and sets, day in and day out. That doesn't mean every day is exactly the same, though it might feel like it if you lead an average person's life. There is joy and an unparalleled relief in being able to follow the rightful flow of time at your side. And an assurance that someday it will finally all be over. There will be no more pain. No more sadness. All that awaits us is a bright future. Hey, could you tempt fate a little harder? I think those in the back night might not be able to hear you. Man, they kicked the shit out of that guy. God, everybody's going to the discount assassin store today. Orewamodoranai,そう伝えろ。よろしいので、あの方を裏切った者の末路、両剣と評されたあなたは誰よりもご存知のはずですよ。Yeah. Uh, apologies, it's nothing. I just, I, I just had to spit out a strawberry's arts. I was so excited about going to Master Tyrael's home that I forgot something very important. I have no idea where he lives. We've made plans to meet at his residence. If I don't go, I'll keep him waiting for who knows how long. I believe I forgot to ask for his address in my excitement. How foolish. Yeah, I experienced like two whole emotions today. It's exhausting. Oh. I know. 
I can ask the Grand Commander. No, that would make too much sense. I have to talk myself out of it now. なあって聞かれても擬音だけじゃ共感できませんよ。まあ、悪い方向には変わってないと思いますよ。ユーチューバーは、ずっと無表情を決め込んでるよりも、怒ったり落ち込んだりしてる方が人間らしくていいじゃ
Is it because I feel guilty for eavesdropping? Or is it from the fear of being rejected? Either way, one or both of these emotions drive me away from the area. Not away from the arena. No one is dying tonight, probably. Incompatible. According to Webster's Dictionary, the word means not compatible. <laughs> Happiness? A future? How ridiculous. Yeah, remember this bit? Remember how terrible we thought that was going to be a while ago? Master Tyrell just gave me my wish. To him, I'm still no more than the goddess's reincarnation. Truly, we are all of us a Megami Tensei. He doesn't love me. I need to deliver these papers to the Grand Commander. They've disappeared, so I continue to walk towards the castle with relief. I leave the papers with the castle guards and return to town. Maybe if I meditate under a waterfall for a bit, I'll eventually get my head on straight. Since I've finished my errand, I should return to the wing's base. But each step I take feels heavier than the last. And I can't seem to make any progress on my return trip. I need to get Hugo to hit me again. I'm only this upset because I allowed myself to get so foolishly worked up. Needing to put in effort to make Master Tyrell fall for me means that he doesn't love me yet. I often tell myself this, but hearing it from the man himself feels like a knife to the chest. And I should know! He did say that he likes me more than the average amounts. Was he lying when he said that? If it was, I didn't feel anything off about it. Maybe that's just proof of how adept he is at deceiving others. What about that adorable expression yesterday? For his insistence that he doesn't like people intruding upon his territory. He deceived his own heart to serve a man that is all but his enemy. He would not hesitate to sacrifice himself for his beliefs. I fell for him because that's the kind of person he is. It's also why I'm having such a hard time believing this. I am unable to see through his lies. If he were to ever tell me he loved me, I know I wouldn't be able to tell if it was just an act. Even so, I still... I still want... Still want to live in my own deception and lies for just a bit longer. What do you want, lady? I was trying to deliver a line there. Who even are you? An older woman calls out to me. I can't see what she looks like beneath the robe, but I neither recognize her voice nor her general appearance. Here, take this obviously poisoned apple. Well? Nanigaanatao Ah, uh, she's a fortune teller. Suspicious cards and dolls sit upon her table, 
and all of it looks a hair's breadth away from being heretical. I'm impressed you thought to engage in this trade in a kingdom so devoted to its religious doctrine. That's how normal people talk, right? ええ。well, he tortures people for a living. Up until recently, he was a professional assassin, and he's the worst liar I've ever met in my entire life. I have no intention of criticizing those who would rely on such means. Don't worry, Annie, I'll do enough for both of us. Everyone finds encouragement in different deeds and words. But I don't need these ones. Try your luck elsewhere. Uh, I, yes, that's why I said it. I thought that was self-explanatory. The fortune teller grabs my sleeve. Wow. How could you possibly have guessed that an obviously foolish young lady sitting around moping in the middle of the day would be dealing with an unfulfilled love? Clearly you are a mind reader. There is no other possible explanation. Let go. The fortune teller produces a bottle. It's small enough to fit in her palm and decorated with an adorable pink design. The liquid within shifts each movement. It's very obviously the bottle of the poison that Tyrell took. この香りを身にまとって思い人に会ってごらんなさい。彼はあなたを深く愛するようになりますよ。Name's legit. If this perfume had the power to draw forth money or power, I could have remained calm. But when confronted with what I want most, anger boils forth. When I shove her hand away, the pink bottle jumps into the air. Now the bottle itself doesn't break, the contents empty themselves, only my clothes. Strangely, the perfume gives off no discernible scent. My clothes are wrinkled, but I imagine my lack of composure is at fault for that. I'll pay you what you're owed for the perfume, so leave me alone. I can't return to the base now. I should go home for today. And then we did. Anastasia. I do. Eh. That's the wrong where? God, this every front part of this route is going kind of off the rails. Yeah, you gotta stop throwing new people at me every 15 seconds. This man. Hey, you're not a new person, you're just not a person I've had to think about in a dozen episodes. Harrison Vaughn. A reporter for the Hideout News, and one of the men Master t has dealings with. <laughs> 
of all the generic street backgrounds and all the cities won in all the kingdoms also won in the world you had to walk into mine そんな嫌そうな顔しないでくださいよ。私たちの中じゃありませんか。珍しいですね、女性を連れてらっしゃるなんて。で、リンゼル家のお嬢様じゃありませんか。この間私が記事を書いた。The article in question is probably the one Master T-Rail had the hideout news right to hide the truth of the Rose of Tranquil Time. Remember that? This is our first time actually meeting, but I shouldn't be surprised to find out he was the article's author. Yes, but also no, but also it's complicated. Okay. キャソロック家の着難。こいつに手を出すと貴族様が黙っちゃいねえぞ。え、そんなに警戒しないでくださいよ。大丈夫です。これ以上詮索はしません。貴族よりあなたの方が怖いですから。You understand, of course, that I could kill you in a hundred different ways, none of which would leave any evidence connectable to me. で。could you possibly have phrased that in a more uncomfortable manner? Koi. Uh, oh, ah, me. Uh, she exploded. Maya's helping with festivities in the markets. She won't be back until tomorrow afternoon. It's just the litter on the highway. It's everywhere. Tears pour forth unceasingly. My heart is so calm, I can neither scream nor sob. And it's strange to realize that sadness can manifest in this form as well. さっきハリスに言ったこと、何受けてんのか。違うからな。あれはお前に探りを入れようとしたのを止めるための嘘で。I just to pick up on that. But Demo? I can't stop crying. Master TL? Oh, game, you have one note to play this route, don't you? Ah. Uh. May as well, just in case I run out of thumbnails. I didn't realize what he was doing at first. It's so sudden and so unexpected based on the last two weeks that I'm rendered silent from shock. Sweaty hands, the frantic pulse of a cornered animal, a tongue that shakes with need as he runs it up my neck. You know, I don't think a shaking tongue is a thing I wanted to think about today, thanks game. His movements are persistent, as if desperately trying to prise open a lock. When he looks at me with a feverish gaze, I finally realize where all this is leading to. Master Tear? 
Ah, oh God, he's a vampire. I'm hit with such a violent shock that I get dizzy. Even as the strength leaves my body, it gets ever hotter. My heart drums loudly to resonate with his. Big. Orc. <laughs> he bites so hard that I scream, but not from anguish. This weak, coquettish sound. One that makes itself known no matter how desperately I try to remain silent. <laughs> Uh, that's you. That's what you sound like. Can you stop zooming out. How easy it would be to let go of all thought. I mean, maybe for you. Admit myself to every sensation he gives me. If only this was done out of love. But it's neither relation nor euphoria that rules my heart right now. The suffocating disgust. Stop it. Stop it bad. Bad dear. I'm gonna get the spray bottle. You don't even like me. A dull thud resonates above me. Master Tyrell has just slammed his head against the headboard. I mean, maybe a bit of brain damage would bring him closer to our level. It's a solution. Master Tyrell? Uh, huh? Whoa! Uh... Master Teal grabs me by the scuff and all but tosses me towards the bathroom. I really hope this entire route doesn't wind up being a chain of lazy fanfic tropes awkwardly chained together. But they have not done a good job of arguing they have anything else thus far. An aphrodisiac. I pull out one of the pharmacology books I've borrowed from him. Aphrodisiacs enhance sexual arousal and heighten sexual desire. They are also referred to as love potions. You know, in case there was anyone in this audience who didn't know that already. Yeah, you, no, no, he's right, Anna, you really don't. That was a waste of a text box. Did you smell an aphrodisiac on me? Ah, I'm so sorry. I had no idea I'd worn something like that. Yes. Yes. Oh, witch this, witch that. Which option is gonna get you to stop talking about witches, huh? We dealt with that already. A witch? You don't think it's ish, do you? You have to find that fortune teller at once. But... <sighs> Can I grab lunch? Something more important than finding a witch? Master Tyrell timidly reaches a hand towards me. His fingers just barely don't reach the bite marks left behind on my neck before his hand falls to his side. He lowers his head in shame and doesn't move any further, so I gently reach towards him instead. Shh. 
Sure, sure, you want me to get touchy-feely game? I'll get touchy-feely. I knew it, there's a bump there. It doesn't hurt. You did that so suddenly and with such force. It was a bit of a shock. You did it to protect me. Thank you. You better not criminate. I'll be more careful as well. You know, be careful not to get assailed in the streets by people with magic potions. Clearly, this is my fault. Time to investigate. Uh, I mean, you don't, do you? Look at you. なんで俺がお前のことを好きじゃないってことになってんだ。俺がハリスに言ったことを気にしてんのか。You already said you lied, so he wouldn't try to look into me. そう、それだけだ。タイはねえよ。But that doesn't explain why you still call me Miss Red in front of others. We used to leave the wings base together, but now we travel separately, despite our destination being the same. And in hindsight, I can't help but feel as though you interrupted me when I attempted to tell the others about us. It was as if you didn't want me to say it out loud. And then... You said we were incompatible. Yeah. Yeah. Thought I didn't know about that, did you? Our entire relationship is based on you thinking you know more than me. It's the only reason you put up with me. By God, good going, Sherlock. I think you solved the mystery. It was a coincidence. I'm sorry about this thing I'm currently tearing you to shreds over. I was too scared to listen any longer, so I fled. Material size. That's all it is, but this simple gesture fills me with so much dread that my vision swims with tears. You're so stupid. Do you want to agree to start a relationship with me to try and make the goddess's reincarnation happy? Are all your displays of affection and acts? If they are, I want you to stop. I... not smart enough to see through your lies. I don't Yes, that is what we in the business refer to as lying, Tyr. I'll try to keep up. And what is the truth? No, absolutely not. I can't do that. I still want to hear what you have to say.俺のこと好きだって分かった時、すげえ嬉しかったんだよ。You なの嬉しくないわけないだろう。一体今まで何だったんだって虚無感を吹き飛ばすくらい、俺にとっちゃ喜ばしいことだったんだよ。しかも新しい主人は俺を好きだという。俺がやるべきなのは使命を果たすこと
それ以外は全部無駄だと切り捨ててきたんだなのに一生を捧げる相手が主で恋人でって一挙両得以外の何者でもねえだろう I'm not entirely sure that's quite how it works. Killing two birds with one stone. Orega Nani Yuri Moskina Kotobada. You do say. That's my catchphrase. I say it all the time, haven't you noticed? I'm trying to put it on a shirt. His words echo powerfully in my heart. His unique phrasing, spoken with an unwavering tone, conveys clearly how genuine the sentiment is. I mean, I know that's exactly what I thought the last dozen times I thought I had him figured it out, but surely this time... If I hadn't been the goddess's reincarnation, would you have ever thought to start a relationship with me? Speaks of love and future with a heavy despair. And how could they be anything but after serving that man twisted even the greatest joys into something far darker? しめ以上に思いものはない。俺の中の天秤は錆びついてピクリとも動かないんだ。でもお前が相手だったら愛するのも守るのもお前が一番だ。お前のことだけ考えていたらいいなんて、俺にとっちゃこれ以上の幸せ
ああいやたまにだたまにまあ、that prince conrad what a dick am I right とにかくだ俺はお前に嘘はついてないもしお前が俺の好意を感じ取ってくれてるならそれは本物だ OK えー、OK And why did you say we were incompatible? よし、香水について調べに行くか。You fucking bitch! Hey! 占い師っつったか占いはギリ異端には触れねえが、まじないの類はアウトだな。まずは街で聞き込み。いや、それよりも。Wait, we have not finished this discussion yet. Why did you say we were incompatible? 今度話す。Don't you do that detective shit with me. If that's what you want, then I'll go along with it. I want to go ask Grand Commander Cries about it if you refuse to tell me. Yamero. Yes, that's why I'm going to do it. Thank you. His smile is tinged with sadness, so I can't bring myself to question him any longer. I mean, I know it's literally the exact same smile he was giving me earlier when I was, uh... Talking about how happy he looked, but this time it's sad. Just take my word for it. I never thought the day would come when I would be calling you stupid. Oh, yeah, one of us is gonna kill the other before the end of this route. Ah, joy. Game, game, I'd, I'd like to be able to see again, thank you. Modoru tsumori wa nai ka? Aitsu ga sonna koto. Oh, hey, Conrad, I was beginning to get concerned we weren't seeing enough of you. Yeah, no, you're a real stand-up guy who lights up every room you enter. もったいないな。せっかく研いだ刃をこのまま錆びつかせてしまうのは。いや、そもそも。あいつに平穏なんて似合わない。もっとも輝くのは視線の上だということを本人も自覚していることだろうに。やっぱり横着するのは良くないな。道具の手入れは人任せにせず、自分でやらないと。Like a Marvel post-credit scene, except they're putting it exactly one chapter into the book. Anyway, that's the scene, so we're going to be saving and playing here. Oh boy, I really quite desperately hope that this is just poorly paced and not the tone we're going to be going for all game, because I really liked Cryus in the base, not Cryus, I really liked Tyrell in the base game, and I kind of looked forward to getting a bit less shitty treatment out of him. That's the stream. Goodbye, everybody.